Breaking news on 7 News at 11. Heightened tension and emotion in the courtroom this morning. An angry outburst from the father of one of the Aurora Theater shooting victims. It comes after the judge delays the arraignment for the suspected shooter. 7 News reporter Marsha Zellinger at the Arapahoe County Justice Center right now. And Marshall, an emergency hearing was held because of that outburst. Yeah, Mitch, that outburst came just after the judge granted a two month delay in James Holmes entering his plea. That now won't happen until March 12th. The judge even asked Holmes if that's what he wanted to do. Holmes looked down and to the left, never made eye contact with the judge. About five seconds went by before the defense answered for him. Shortly after that, as the judge was leaving, someone from the crowd shouted. Seven News was in the hallway this morning when Steve Hernandez walked into court. He is the father of Rebecca Wingo, one of the 12 killed in the July 20th shooting. And just as this morning's hearing ended at 9.15 and the judge banged his gavel, Hernandez shouted, rot in hell, Holmes. The judge and attorneys for both sides held an emergency meeting in the hallway and we were all called back into court. Hernandez now detained. Now when the judge spoke to him, the judge said, quote, I am terribly sorry for your loss. I can only begin to imagine the emotions that are raging. Hernandez apologized and promised no more outbursts he was then released. After that, new Arapahoe County District Attorney George Brockler spoke with us just outside of the courthouse, and he told us because of the ongoing gag order, he will not jeopardize the case he has now inherited. I want to protect the interests of all involved in this case. That is why my comments are brief. Most of the victims, including the prosecution, did not want this arraignment delay. They wanted Holmes' plea today. After the judge ruled last night at 6 p.m. that there was enough evidence to go to trial, the prosecution started making phone calls to all the victims. We were told 84 did not want this delay. Only three were okay if it went longer. Reporting live in Arapahoe County, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News. All right. Thank you, Marshall. Two survivors of the theater shooting now are filing a lawsuit against the theater's owner. Chi-Chi and Derek Spruill say Cinemark didn't have adequate security at the Century 16 for that midnight showing of The Dark Knight Rises. The couple went to the movie with their friend, Jesse Childress, seen here. Childress fell into Derek Spruill's arms when he was shot and killed. The suit says both Derek and Chi-Chi now suffer from psychological injuries, and they join others who have filed lawsuits over the theater's security. Cinemark has said it couldn't have foreseen the July 20th attack.